Hello, we're back in Pleasant View and today we will join Brittany Tellerman as she starts her first day as a police officer. And Brittany lives over here in an apartment together with Bo Newby. And um, in the previous episode, the two of them were lacking a roommate. They have a room in their apartment that is just empty right now. And similarly, in his previous episode, Oliver Bertino also has a room that's empty in his apartment. And he attempted to move in together with his fiancée, Demi Love, but she wasn't really into that idea. So I thought that why not uh, just move him, him in together with Brittany and Bo? Why him, you might ask? <laughs> well, <laughs> he does have the hots for Brittany, so that might be interesting. And he also detests the guy that Bo is secretly seeing, Bruce Rocher. So yeah, I think that there's great potential for a lot of things to happen. So let's start out by moving um, Oliver out of his own apartment and in with Brittany and Bo. So here we are in the apartment building that Oliver is currently living in. And uh, he lives here. So there's a lot of stuff here to pack up for him. And he also has this garage with some instruments and stuff. Um, and a car even. And as you can see, he's <laughs> got money. Uh, really, he is not wanting for money. Um, I think that a lot of it he got from his father, who's currently in the... Um, uh, nursing home. So he sent out a lot of his money to his sons. Uh, so that's why Oliver has a lot. And he recently also had a pretty high position in his career before I made him an employee uh, at Guppy Jill's Carbos uh, restaurant. So uh, yeah, I'm going to just wake him up. And oh, there's a <laughs> toddler cr crawling out here. I guess he's on the way to his apartment, hopefully. Um, right, so using the uh, bedding mod that I use, uh, the one that um, makes the bedding appear when they have made the bed, um, and it is um, bed unmade, I think it's called, by Lamar. Um, this doesn't appear until they have made the bed, of course, by design, so that's why I have to start by having him make the bed, and then I can pick up the stuff that he has on it. To put in in, in his uh, inventory. So yeah, I'm going to just start taking stuff in uh, to his inventory so that he can bring everything with him when he moves. Going to sell the time control clock because uh, they already have one uh, on the lot that I'm going to be moving him into. Right, and before I um, move all of this stuff uh, away, I'm also going to, um, let's see, yeah, I'm going to pay off all of his loans to start out, so that he can also put in the money that he has success into his bank account, uh, so that that isn't like, um, yeah, mixed together with uh, Britney's and Bo's money. Pay loan. What was it? One thousand two hundred, right? Good. So now I'll have his um, student loans are paid off. Lucky guy. <laughs> and he has um, yeah fourteen thousand left. And of course he broke the <laughs> and he broke the computer. Are you pleased with yourself? <laughs> I'm just gonna buy him a new one, but that uh, that means he'll have slightly less money now then. Yeah, <clears throat> so I'm going to just put in his 10,000 um, into his bank account. Good. And then I have to turn off the computer, otherwise you can't put it in the inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the phone, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let this be. Um, it's not going to be here for the next um, resident. But um, yeah, I don't think I need to clutter up Oliver's um, inventory with that. Okay, uh, yeah, and that's basically it. So 
now I can save, move him out, and then move him in to the other apartment lot. Okay, so here we are in the apartment building across the street. <laughs> and Oliver has moved in uh, together with Brittany and Bo, and with Leroy as well. So the room that he's going to be moving into is this one. And uh, compared to his previous apartment, it is pretty cramped. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to stuff all of his things in there. So yeah, I'm going to start doing that. And there we go. So now all of Oliver's stuff um, <laughs> are stuffed in here. And uh, I actually put the TV here. I know that they can relax and watch TV. So maybe this will work. <laughs> I'll have to try it out. And yeah, we have the dog bed here. And uh, yeah. Put out uh, some of his stuff out here. Uh, <laughs> stuffed his instruments in the corner there. And of course, Bo also has his instruments in his room. So I think that they can jam together, probably. <laughs> and also down here, I put in some uh, dog stuff here for Leroy. He has this bone in here, and then I stuffed in Oliver's bike under the stairs as well. So I think that this is going to work well. We'll have to try it out and see. Uh, and there are some things that I have to maintain, I think, before I can start. Because uh, for one thing, Boa was promoted in the previous uh, Malcolm Landgrab Industries episode. <laughs> and... Um, Yes, yeah, so he shouldn't be uh, on level 2, he should be on level 3. Um, my theory is though, after playing with the scientists, um, that if I send him to work on this level and then use the sim blender to promote him while he is at work, he will get the um, pop-up and the um, memory of gave, getting promoted, I think, because that was sort of what happened with Lily Doe. That she was demoted, even though she wasn't really. Um, when I changed her job level at the science facility. So I'm going to attempt that and see if that works. And um, as for Brittany, she's right now she's a patrol officer. And the, that's fine. Uh, I think that I have even added in that level for the police station. Yeah, I have. So that is technically the level after being a cadet at the police academy. But the thing is that she works the evening shift and I'm having a hard time to put all of it together. Um, also, what with um, wanting to start out with the police station and all of the other cops are going to be working there on in the day and then basically as soon as they leave, she will arrive to her job and it just doesn't fit. <laughs> For me, so I'm going to go ahead at once and uh, bump her level up one, uh, so that she can actually be, let's see, a desk surgeon. So on the same level as Sophie Miguel, so that they can be sort of partners and work together. Seeing as I don't really have, um, yeah, seeing as I don't really have many cops right now, it makes somewhat sense anyway. They would need some more people in a higher position. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, she's going to have to work in order to become like fit enough for one thing <laughs> in order to have that uh, job as well. So I'm going to do it like that, I think. Um, yeah. And also, for some reason, Oliver is in his work outfit from his previous job. So he doesn't even have that job anymore. Um, so I don't know why he's dressed like that. So I'm going to change his outfit to his just this casual outfit. Good. Um, right. So things are set up, I think. Um, yeah, all of them are going to work at nine. So they have the morning together. Um, he can start by just um, giving some love to Leroy. Great. And seeing as Oliver likes cooking, I uh, can send him in here to serve up some breakfast. So let's have some omelets. And boy, you can wake up and um, head to the bathroom. And Brittany, you need to wake up and uh, take care of your fish. 
to clean and feed. Okay, good. So actually, not only was the routing good here, but also the door wasn't stuck open because of this one. So that's actually good. I was a bit worried. <laughs> that's often the case when you cram in things close to a door that the door becomes stuck open. It's actually pretty bright in here, so I think I can uh, probably remove both of those. That should make things better, I think. So this is actually not the first time that Oliver is living in this um, lot, because when he was a kid, he lived together with uh, Abhijit and Orlando in this apartment. So this is actually where... Uh, yeah, the Bertinos were living before this and before Abhijit moved into the uh, nursing home. So this was Abhijit's nice kitchen. He also always loved cooking, so that was where that was. And this is also the was their living room. And uh, yeah, this was actually Oliver's room. So it's uh, like the mirror image of what he has right now, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> so this was his childhood room. And then Orlando had this one together with his uh, Labrador. He had a black Labrador back then, so she used to sleep in, in his room. And then this was Abhijit's big room with his double bed and everything where he used to see his women. <laughs> yeah, so it's um, pretty funny actually that Oliver ended up moving in here for that reason alone. Right, so I think that, um, yeah, Brittany and uh, Bo were invited to Oliver's place last time, I think, if I remember correctly. And uh, they started to become friendly, but they didn't actually become friends, it seems like. So that's nice, actually, that they get to spend more time together and uh, develop their friendship. <laughs> so, well, Brittany um, is very attracted to him, of course. She's also had um, a bit of a complicated love life, really, ever since being a young adult because she started out going out with Alexander Goth and they were seeing each other and they were like a steady couple and then she ended up meeting uh, Mike Newby <laughs> he was a neighbor of hers at the uh, uh, university uh, apartment lot and seeing as Alexander was living at home at the Goth Manor um, he wasn't even there uh, so she had like free reign to see <laughs> Mike on the side and as you can see, they have three bolts of attraction, whereas she only has two bolts with Alexander. But then, of course, she's a fortune sim and she also has pressure from her family, mainly her mother, uh, to marry rich and be successful that way. So she wants to marry and get engaged to Alexander for that reason alone. But then she also has uh, these two guys that she's really, really attracted to. So being a young woman, I don't think that that is very easy for her to navigate right now. Uh, I think it's really exciting. And uh, she's, um, even though she's always been popular, she hasn't been known for like being the most gorgeous and beautiful girl out there. So I think that having these guys being really like into her is really flattering. And uh I would assume that she has a pretty difficult time to, to know what to do about it at this point because she doesn't want to end up in a position where she waits with Alexander and then ends up losing him because of that. Because he is like a, a really, really good husband for her. <laughs> I think that she, she um, is a bit scheming and thinking like that, actually. Yeah, so we'll have to see. Uh, she's already messed up in front of him. She actually flirted with Oliver at one of the weddings, and uh, yeah, Alexander of course saw, and uh, yeah, it wasn't <laughs> wasn't very good. Um, so we'll see. We have to see what happens there. But at first, let's see if they can uh, become friends. I'm assuming that will be pretty quick. Great. So you can actually put away the leftovers, Oliver. And uh, yeah, make sure also that Leroy has food. Looks like he's about to eat now. Because all of them are going to be away for hours and then it's important that he, he has something to eat.
Right, so Brittany would need to take care of her plants. Uh, I can see if she has time to at least tend them. Or maybe watering is uh, better to prioritize. Let's see. Because yeah, I think that they might die at this rate. <laughs> They're all sickly. Okay, great. <clears throat> right, Boa became overweight. Um, at the work last time, actually. I think it's just like barely there. Yeah. But of course, he's a little bit lazy, so that's why, I think. Um, and yeah, all of them are going to work here, so. And all of them are going in the same clown car. <laughs> How many can we stuff in there? <laughs> yeah, good. So now that they are actually at work, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, raise boss level. And yeah, see if that actually triggers the um, promotion thing when he comes home. Oh, was it? No, I don't think it was that level, uh, like that um, job title. I'm... Um, I'm checking the <laughs> spreadsheet here, so let's see, land grab industries. No, it's supposed to be at level four, actually. That was the case. Okay, then. Yeah. There it is. Good. Yeah, so let's hope that that works. We'll have to see when it comes home. <laughs> but yeah, for now, let's move over to the Quaker household. So I loaded up the lot and apparently Marsha has already gone to work. She's going really, really early to her job as a nurse. So yeah, looks like she's already left. But uh, Dorian is uh, also awake and is heading to the bathroom to freshen up a bit. And then he's going to have uh, breakfast. So his carpool uh, arrives at 8. So that's around the time when I have to send him to his community lot. And uh, it's going to be the first time that we try that out, so I'm really excited about that. So in the previous episode, Dorian and Marsha got married, actually. But yeah, Dorian isn't in love with her yet, so I'm going to have to see what happens there. But uh, yeah, they should be really like um, yeah, newlyweds, <laughs> really flirty and uh, um, lovely to each other, I think. Right, so quite a lot of food here, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and eat some leftovers. So Dorian is uh, living a very comfortable life here. Um, he's very happy and complacent, like uh, he's reached the top of the police career in Pleasant View, and things don't really happen here. There aren't really that many criminals, and if, if there ever are any, they're just like petty burglars and... Um, he knows that his team can handle it and he doesn't really have to do much <laughs> now that he has reached the top of the career. He can just relax and kick back and focus on other things. So that's one of the reasons why he decided to get married and start up a family. Because he has this really nice house, he has this successful career and he doesn't really know what to do with himself. So he got himself a pretty young wife. <laughs> so we're going to have to see how things turn out. So Doran is definitely not one of those like um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed police officers who tries to improve things a lot and um, really catch the burglars and things. He's uh, definitely the lazy person at the top of uh, the pyramid. <laughs> right, so I actually don't know if, because I see that a lot of things are uh, dirty. Do you have a maid? Yeah, they do have a maid. Good. So, yeah, that's going to be taken care of. Good. Yeah, so I'm going to have him um, drive to his own community lot, and that is the Pleasant View Police Station. Dorian is pulling up to work. 
Great, so I think I'm gonna have to do some setup here to start out. Yeah, so this is the, the police station. And uh, this office up here is Dorian's. So this is where he's going to be working. And then we have this level that's um, to be used for the, yeah, the other police officers. They have their cubicles in here. And then down here is actually like the reception area where people can come and visit the um, police station. We have um, this room here that's uh, meant to be used for passport photo photos. Um, some bathrooms here and then we have some holding cells for potential prisoners. Uh, an interrogation room. The person who's going to be questioned, is it like not a prisoner but the, the suspect I guess, is going to be sitting there so that they can look at him. <laughs> Through the window. Uh, yeah, and then we also have the basement. So that's the gym where the police officers will be working out so that they are in perfect shape. But I don't think that I want people to normally visit this lot. So I'm going to start by taking out the um, SIM, um, the Vista controller. Oh, there it is. Adjust, Mr. Controller. Oh, it's already on the lot. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so ban all sim types. Ban all critters. Ban all NPCs. I think that's going to do it. Um, we'll have to see if that works out. Good. And I don't want time to speed on too quickly on this slot, so I'm gonna need a time control clock and I suspect I don't have one. No, it doesn't seem like it, so I think I can put it in like here. Yes, good. It's fine. So then we can set it to 50%. Good. And it looks like, it looks like I put the Visitor, uh, the sim blender in this corner. I wonder, do I want to? I want. I probably don't want the summoned sims to end up there, though. Um, I think it would make more sense, like in this corner. So let's have it over there. Something else that I've been thinking about is the access to this this bathroom, um, because the, the problem is that. Anyone who's back here will not be able to easily access it because this counter is blocking uh, the path and then they have to like go around using the back entrance. And I think that I probably want to lock this. Um, yeah, so my idea is that I put in a door here so that they can go through this room uh, and then just keep it locked uh, normally. So I'm going to use one of those doors. And I think that that is going to work out better. Yeah. Let's go with that. So let's start out by lock for all sims. And yeah, let's just, we can probably keep this open for now. I think should work. All right, so yeah, Dorian should be able to like walk from the entrance by his car and then just up here and through here <laughs> to get to the, the back area for the police officers. Yes, very good. So something else that we are going to need is Tom's clothing tester. Yeah. I think I can have it like in the corner together with the sim blender there. So let's start out by just looking at the spreadsheet that I have created. So we have a Dorian at the top level that you can get at uh, in Pleasant View. It's not a very big town, so that's why you can only get to level seven. And then we have Demi Love at the level below that as a detective and Ramin Sintowski 
one level below that as a vice squad. And those are sort of the, the top tier police officers right now. And then we also have the aspiring police officers who are still very fresh, both of them. So that's Sophie Miguel and Brittany Tellerman. And then we don't really have anyone else. Um, you, of course, have the um, like the game police officers that actually come to your lot when you call the police, um, when the burglar comes or, or such. But I'm not sure how to handle those yet. Um, I'll probably figure out who they are and then like add them on here uh, or somewhere like below it just so that I know. And then I can um, yeah bring them in sometimes to just sort of hang out with the others um, so that they get to know each other. <laughs> that would be uh, nice. But I don't think I'm going to actively be using them for anything. It's a little bit different with the burglars because the burglars are actually like... <laughs> more part of, of it all, I think. Whereas the police officers, they're just going to be patrolling, sort of. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, I'll have a think about that, I think. <laughs> but for now, let's start out with these sims. So I'm going to start out by just summoning all of them. Yeah, and here they are. Um, actually, Brittany is already in her work outfit, so I don't really have to do anything with that. But, yeah, I need to add on... Uh, Sophie, yeah, and it's level four. Um, it's interesting though that it looks like Sophie is older than these two. Uh, she has 26 days left and uh, yeah, she's only has 22 and he has uh, 25. So, well, these are very close in age, but uh, <laughs> the reason why is that I added a aging mod like after starting to play and I didn't really match it out. So it looks a bit different with the ones that already um, were adults when I put that in, if that makes sense. So <laughs> that's why it looks like she's older, but she actually isn't. Um, yeah, so let's see. She got level four and then Ramin should have level five. Okay, good. Right, and I got a, a default replacement for the um, the blue suit recently. Because I just thought that that looked very dated. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, is what's, this is what they are going to be looking like. So that's good. Um, yeah, so they are going to be here until 3 in the afternoon. And they're going to be getting up to different things things. So I think that actually I want to start them out with just, I guess, sitting down together and uh, chatting. They are like one person too many to sit at one table though, so I'm going to temporarily move that chair <laughs> so that they can all sit together. Just for starting out so that they actually yeah, get to know one another properly. Yeah, looks like they actually might already all know each other. But, uh, oh, wow. Both Demi and Ramin really dislikes Brittany, though. I think it was because of all of that that happened at the wedding, <laughs> probably. Uh, no, Brittany, I want you to actually sit down. Thank you. So, yeah, so it would be nice if their relationship improved at least a little bit. <laughs> But she's not starting out with uh, the best um, situation. Looks like Brittany is joining into the, the conversation here. They're talking about food after the initial hoo-hooing. <laughs> okay then, so now I need to sort of figure out what everyone is going to be doing. Um, of course, Dorian needs to be in his office. Um, and just work here, I guess. So I'm going to go with the work at home as I normally do. And what would make sense for him? I mean, is he maxed out in body? He is. But it looks like he needs more cleaning, I guess. 
I don't think that, I mean, seeing as he's um, a bit lazy <laughs> like that, I don't think that he would go out of his way to, to work more on logic. Uh, I think that, yeah, cleaning sounds fine. Um, so let's just have him do that, I think. And Demi, semi similarly, she's also going to be sitting at her desk and I specifically designed this one, this cubicle that is slightly bigger than the others to be hers because she has at the top position. So yeah, I think that she's also going to be working on cleaning because that's also what she's missing here, I see. Um, Ramin, I think he can actually... Yeah, he can head down to the gym, I think, um, together with Sophie. And they can work out together while Brittany sits down at the reception desk here. And um, yeah, she can, um, I think that she would actually be working on logic. That seems like something that she would do. So let's start out by doing that. Just get the day going for them. Um, <laughs> that's not what I wanted you to do, Dorian. I know that you're lazy, but you don't have to sit down in the kitchen and eat cookies. <laughs> I mean, that's very in character, I have to admit. But, um, but you can't clean it up now? I guess he put it on a very good spot. No. No. Can you? My goodness. Oh, this is impossible. Oh, God. No. <laughs> there I am. Okay. Can I put this back now? Okay. I think I have to put something on this desk so that that doesn't happen again because that was uh, <laughs> real annoying. Um, is there like a sweet spot where I can... Okay, I think I'm going to... Oh, no. That's just a mug, though. Okay, let's do that. I was hoping that I could remove the OMSP, but I guess I can't at this stage. Uh, let's just do it like that, I think. Hopefully that will work out. And then clean that up, please. Okay, good. Let's make another attempt at this. Uh, and if you're really good at doing this, I can actually have you play some computer games. Very hash hash up here later. <laughs> yeah, he's such a hard worker, Dorian. Okay, so let's see. Sophie also failed with what she was doing. So I'm going to send her here. Oh my God. This poor guy, he hasn't even had his first kiss yet. Seriously? At least he has a girlfriend, so <laughs> I guess it will be soon. But yeah, he's... Um, I suppose he's been waiting for the right woman then. Yeah. And Demi is sitting in here. Working away, so that's good. And finally, Dorian has also made it upstairs. Brittany is at the reception desk working pretty diligently, it looks like. It's good. And I suppose that this would be like Brittany is sitting down here and like taking calls from people and um, getting emails and things like people reporting in incidents uh, and just maintaining that kind of thing. And if uh, someone shows up at the desk and needs help with something. Uh, so that's what her task is right now. And I think that I'm going to switch between Sophie and Brittany so that they do different things. But that, that is one of the tasks that those two will have to, to do continuously. But yeah, these two can probably work out until lunch, I think. This has been Brittany's dream for a very long time to actually join the police force and make a difference for the neighborhood. 
So I think that she's really, really excited to be starting out, even though it's like not that high tier and she doesn't have any power to do basically anything <laughs> yet. Um, just taking these cases and going through it and like starting to help people. I think that she's feeling really good about herself right now. And um, so far she hasn't really had any run-ins with um, any nasty people. So yeah, for now she's really pleased with the start of her work, I think. Right, so it's nearing lunchtime here and uh, I think that uh, these two need to freshen up a little bit. Okay, nice. So Brittany was actually done first and uh, she was done basically the same time as Demi. So I think that she can use the bathroom first of all. Yeah, both of them can actually. Um, and then they can head up to have lunch together. Which will be interesting seeing as Demi really doesn't like Britney. <laughs> but that's what you get when you flirt with Demi's fiancé right in front of her. Right, so when Sophie's done with the shower, she can have lunch here. <clears throat> and let's see also... Oh yeah, I need to move back the chair. Yeah, let's see when Dorian is done as well. He should have lunch as well. So I think probably Sophie is going to be the first. Oh, actually, Brittany is right before her. Yeah, and I need to change back to her back to her work outfit, actually. So she had this one, I think. Maybe was it this one? I have a lot of microwaves, but I don't have a lot of uh, fridges, so <laughs> they're complaining a little bit. Okay, good. So Dorian is also down here. And of course, the first thing that he does is that he wants to go down and lounge on the couch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, actually, you can have lunch, Dorian. It looks like Ramin is almost down here as well. Yeah, and I need to also change his... Um, outfit. Good. Um, yeah, so have lunch. I think I might actually put in a chair here on the corner just because there are five of them and it like I don't want one of them to only be sitting at another table. Uh, so let's do it like this for now. That is actually so interesting because that was my idea when I first moved them in together because Ramin and uh, Demi, they are roommates. And I thought that they would probably end up together, but they weren't attracted to each other at all at first. And only once they got to know each other did they get two bolts of attraction. I think they had like none <laughs> at the start. And that was actually why I pushed them to other people. Um, so that's why Ramin started to date Elizabeth and why Demi started to date uh, Oliver. And technically they do have more attraction, but yeah, these two are also getting on really, really well. So interesting how that turned out. And yeah, this is uh, another typical business that right now they're having TV dinners, but what with um, the new um, Randy, Randy Lillard's new business, where he's going to be selling lunch. This is one of the typical ones that would benefit from <laughs> having more nutritious food, I think. Yeah, so then Dorian could just go to his place and pick up um, lunch for all of them and then take it out at lunchtime and just have all of them eat. Okay, great. So Brittany is done. So she's going to clean that up and uh, yeah, she's going to instead head down to the uh, gym and work out for a bit. And uh, yeah, then we can go back to her um, cubicle. Or maybe actually, yeah, she can sit here and have a little break. And uh, yeah, she can go up to Dorian's office and they can have a meeting actually later. I think it would make sense. 
Sophie is going to go down instead here to um, the reception and um, keep that up. So she's doing quite well. I think she would also work on logic because, yeah, Sophie has ambitions to become uh, the head of SCIA. So she is really, really, really ambitious. <laughs> so I think that for sure she would um, work on that. And then, of course, Ramin is going to head to his cubicle in here. And um, I don't think I had looked, decided on one, but I think that probably this one is going to be his. Yeah. Yeah, so Brittany has made it downstairs and she's really working out on her physique here. That's good. She needs that as well, so. Yeah, she actually wants it as well, so <laughs> that's good. Why don't you clean that up, Dorian? And you guys can head upstairs to have a meeting in here instead. You can clean that up. And then you're gonna work at home as well. So you need a logic. Yeah, sure. He can work on logic, I think. Makes sense. And Sophie's made it down to the reception desk, so that's good. So yeah, she's not in, in very good shape yet, but she's definitely going to get up there with this uh, job, I think. Right, so I think that's enough for her, so she can have a shower. Yeah, and these guys are... Just sitting up here and um, having a meeting. <laughs> I think that they're not really um, working all that much um, on work stuff. I think they're just like hanging out <laughs> a little bit. Maybe they talk uh, a little bit about work related stuff. But I mean, yeah, this is just another excuse for Dorian to just not do much, <laughs> I think. And uh Demi, of course, secretly wants to become a criminal mastermind. So I think that she encourages Dorian's um, lackluster attitude. <laughs> She's not really all that into solving crimes, I think. Um, she was pushed into this job by her father. And um, yeah, she, her heart really isn't in it, I think. Not that much. She, she likes excitement and things like that, but... Um, She's not all of that. Um, she hasn't ha doesn't have the right mindset for it, I think, basically. Okay, so we got the loyalty star, and that was apparently Brittany because she enjoyed um, the gym, I suppose. And yeah, all of them who has used the gym got the star, looks like. So that's good. Yeah, great. So... Brittany is going to head up here again and uh, yeah, chat a little bit with Sophie, I think. Yeah, so these girls are um, practically the same age and uh, they are very fresh in this career and uh, they are both very ambitious and want to, to change things for the better. They're talking about criminals, uh, fittingly enough. And... Um, yeah, I think that they are going to be relying on each other quite a lot. So they definitely want to get to know one another better. And uh, Sophie suggests to Brittany that they meet up after work, now that they are done, uh, just after they get home and freshen up a bit, um, that they meet up at the cafe and just hang out a bit, get to know one another better. And uh, yeah, I think that Brittany is really into that idea as well. Uh, that's something that she would appreciate a lot, I think. And um yeah, to have an ally in this place, being so new, someone who's her own age and that she's familiar with as well. So yeah, that's what they are going to be doing uh, after work. So it's uh, three in the afternoon. So these guys are actually just going to be um, heading out again. And I think that this was a pretty good uh, attempt at the first day in the police office. And of course, um, 
It might be the case in future that we also have criminals in the holding cells that we can do a lot more with. Um, I have this, um, this plan that uh, if there are any burglars in the night who break into any of the uh, residential lots and the police officers that come and fight them actually win, then they will be brought in here and uh, placed in a holding cell for the next time that I play this lot. And uh, yeah, I think that that will be a bit interesting uh, gameplay wise. So we'll have to see if that happens next time. <laughs> um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to just um, get her away from that and um, have him here as well so that they're not sitting in the, the chairs. Oh, are you stuck in there? No, you're not. <laughs> you're just a bit dramatic. Can you stand up as well, please? And then I am going to just clear off all non-residents so that only Dorian remains. And I'm going to send him back home. So the day has passed by quietly in this little apartment. Leroy has been on his own. He's currently curled up on the uh, pillow in his daddy's room. And he's also left a little surprise downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, routing wise, everything seems to be working fine for him. He's accessing the bowl, the bone and also the bed up here. So yeah, things are working out for him. And he's also, I thought... Made friends with Michelle, but looks like he doesn't like her. <laughs> they've been playing a bit outside, so yeah, maybe he likes her better later once they get to know each other better. But yeah, it's about time for these guys to, to return from work, so looks like they're arriving in the police car. So Brittany is first out. And she got a money uh, memory, so she's earned 10,000 now actually. So it looks like it's pretty profitable to also work full time while you're studying, <laughs> as she has done. So that's good. Being a fortune sim, I think that she's really, really happy about that. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to have her freshen up a bit after work, uh, just so that she can head out and have a coffee with Sophie. But uh, apparently these guys, yeah, he arrives later and he arrives at four, right? So yeah. I'm going to wait a little bit. Yeah, she is really, really pleased with herself returning, looks like, uh, after her first day at work. So I think she's in high spirits. I'm just going to check what um, need perks she has, because I feel like her needs are going down pretty quickly. Uh, I can give her those at least. And... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with business instinct for her right now. She has the job stopinator anyway, so she's not going to get promotions that way. But she can definitely get perks. Uh, and I think that she would have a very clever mind. So it makes sense for her. Do you guys also have things? Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, I'm going to give him life of luxury because I want them to accumulate vacation days faster. And uh, yeah, these two are just the same, so it doesn't matter which one. And you don't have anything new. Good. Fair enough. I actually also got a bills reminder earlier. So yeah, she's going to pay the bills. And of course, since she has um, her student loans as well. Uh, and Bo does too. That's why uh, the amount, total amount is pretty high. But I mean, they have gained a little bit of money now. So I think that she can pay off a little bit of her loans, at least 3,000. And then Bo can also do the same when he comes back. Just to get rid of a little bit of it, at least. It's good. And then you can also pay the bills. So that we don't forget about that. Good. And then she can take care of the pee puddle. Oh, and now Bo is returning as well, so... It'll be interesting to see if the... Yeah, good. 
it actually did the trigger. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. So that's a good thing that we can abuse with um, like these active careers that once I want them to actually get the promotion that I can uh, send them off to work and then manually uh, promote them. And that will actually trigger, trigger this. So that's really useful. Uh, so then he also, of course, has the memory of the promotion. So that's, that's awesome. Good. Yeah, but he's feeling pretty exhausted, actually, from work. Uh, so I think that he would just get freshened up. He might actually like take a, yeah, take a bubble bath. It's nice. Seems like something that Bob would do. And uh, yeah, go to sleep so that he can uh, recover a little bit. Brittany, though is going to head out to the uh, community lot. Yeah. It's 330 Main Street and she's going to have a coffee with Sophie. This is interesting though. She's actually on the way out and then Alexander is just casually walking by. So she's going to say hi to him. Yeah, so I think that she's just going to catch up a little bit. They're not, um, she's still in love and everything with him, but he hasn't recovered his part of the relationship from from her flirting with someone else. Um, so he's not all that um, um, like affectionate towards her right now. But it looks like they were talking about her graduation party, and that was actually the last time that they, they hang out hung out properly I think um, so yeah I think that they need to reconnect a bit so Brittany asks him if he would like to have dinner with her tonight and uh, yeah, I think that Alexander is into that idea so they agree to meet up at um, the Italian restaurant in town tonight to have some dinner and uh, yeah, catch up a bit so yeah, they will do that later. So she's going to say goodbye to Alexander and properly head out to her community lot. Yeah, they're just waving at each other even. Uh, so he's he's really not really that into her right now. <laughs> That's pretty cold. So Brittany is arriving at the lot. And um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and um, summon Sophie. I've uh, added in a sim blender in the corner here because I decided that, um, well, they've agreed to meet up on the lot that is. And seeing as they don't have a very high uh, friendship, chances are that Sophie is just going to say no <laughs> and not arrive if uh, Brittany is going to call her. So I will um, just summon her in here. And apparently I need to change her outfit. Good. And yeah, it will be just like she was waiting for Brittany to arrive, basically. Good. So they have greeted each other. And um, let's just uh, form a casual group for fun. And yeah, Brittany is super tired. So I think I'm going to start out by just sending them both into the cafe. And yeah. Have uh, Brittany order a coffee to start off. And I'm going to make Sophie selectable as well so that she can uh, head in here together with Brittany. Yeah, I'll just have her use the bathroom quickly while she waits for Brittany to order and then she can order. So, yeah, this should help her, her energy levels, hopefully. <laughs> and apparently Sophie decided to sit down there. So they're having a ch chat across the room. I think maybe I should um, redesign this a little bit. Maybe put in like some armchairs here as well. Because it seems like they are, want to go to this chair first. And then the next choice is this one. So <laughs> it's always going to be split up. Um, I'm just going to move Brittany over there ma manually. Yeah, I think that these two have a lot of things to connect about. Of course, they have very similar ambitions. Um, 
Yeah, actually, they have the exact same ambition. <laughs> they both want to be the head of SCIA. Um, and uh, that just goes to show that both of them are very invested in Pleasant View and they want things to be good here. They want to make a difference and they want to help out the other residents. Um, and I think that they have great potential to be really close friends and allies as well. I mean, apparently Brittany <laughs> has already angered two of her colleagues, uh, both Ramin and uh, Demi, of course. So yeah, she would need a close friend and partner, I think, in that job to, yeah, to just have things move smoothly. And I think yeah, also Sophie is happy for, for a friend at work to hang out with and uh, yeah, share, share work with, really. Ah, looks like um, Sophie's fiancé is here. Apparently she also wanted to, <laughs> to come here. Let's see if she walks in here. Yeah, she does. Okay, well, she actually sits down together with them. I guess that makes sense. Like, if she's here, she's going to say hi to <laughs> her fiancé and also greet the friend that she's sitting down with. That's so interesting that that randomly happened. <laughs> yeah, nice. Looks like they're having a heated discussion. But yeah, they made friends now, actually. And I think it's about time for... Oh, is Alexander here? I thought I saw him, but I thought he was just a walk-by. Ah, oh, he's here, actually. That's really interesting. Okay, then. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, have Brittany uh, and the casual group. Let's see. There it is. Uh, and then she's going to greet Alexander instead then. That's convenient. <laughs> Great. And they made friends. So that's awesome. Let's uh, find Alexander then. Don't know why they're hanging out behind the counter. <laughs> Seems random. Where are you going, Alexander? Uh, okay, I think he might be just leaving the lot. Um, and it's also getting a bit late. So I think I'm actually going to bring her back to her home lot and uh, then send her over to the restaurant because, um, yeah, that way I also have um, like a saving spot so that if the game crashes again, <laughs> I don't have to replay anything. Um, welcome. So that's, uh, that's a good thing to do, I think. Okay, so Brittany is returning and um, yeah, apparently Althea is out here playing with Leroy. So I think that I'm actually going to send Brittany in here to sleep a little bit, recover before her dinner with Alexander. Uh, and of course, Bo is already asleep. But I think I can probably wake him up now. Uh, he can have a coffee or something. Ooh, apparently the TV is broken. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to have one of them call up the landlord. Oliver is returning now, so he can do it. Right, so landlord request repair. Good. And then Oliver is going to freshen up as well. And hopefully the landlord can fix the TV so I can, he can um, relax in front of the TV later. <laughs> Leroy is really popular out here. I think he's been um, playing around with all of these <laughs> people by now. Yeah, so while the um, the landlord is down there, I think Bo would just go up here and um, perform a little bit. And then, um, yeah, possibly Oliver could join him. Although the dog pillow is very filthy here, I see. So <laughs> let's uh, clean that one first as well. Okay, he, um, he does not like that right now. Um, how about you go down to the couch and lounge? Because that brings up the comfort really, really quickly. 
Okay, are you done with uh, the TV? Oh, okay, good. Then you can launch and watch TV. Do two things at once. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, but I think the boy is happy to, to be up here for now. Yeah, and Brittany has actually recovered quite nicely here, so I think she would just freshen up again and then head out to the restaurant. You can turn that off now and um, go with the dog pillow and then possibly join into the jam session up here. <laughs> And he will join on the acoustic guitar here. Nice. So Brittany is all dolled up and ready to go. So I'm going to just do this. Walk to lot, community lot. And uh, yeah, Trattoria di Carbo. Right, and Brittany is at the restaurant so I'm going to also summon in Alexander because again they agreed to meet up that's why we'll do it like that so he's been waiting for her right here so she's going to say hi yeah, and of course Oliver is going to be working here as well <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit um, overlap there. Right, so ask on date. Yeah, and he's not so upset with her so that uh, he said no. So that's a good thing. He actually wants to fall in love with her again. Oh, he wants to be friends with her. Is he that far down? Well, I guess let's just start by talking then if he wants to make friends. Right, so it looks like she's talking about the uh, university again. Yeah, it looks like they're connecting a little bit about um, well, aging up and um, becoming more mature, hopefully. And um, yeah, the changes in their lives, really. I'm actually curious, how, how far down is she on his relationship? 33, ouch. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we can bring that up. Um, but yeah, let's um, tell an inside joke. They are still best friends forever, so they can still do things like that. So that will help a lot, I think, uh, to get their relationship back up. Because, I mean, they've been so close for a very long time. They still have all of these connections. They just need to find their way back to each other, basically. Oh, good, they're friends again. Nice. That's a good first step. <laughs> you can give him a playful tickle. Nice. Um, yeah, so I think that uh, they have four and a half hours now. They're up to a good date. So I think that I'm going to have them walk in here and uh, sit down. Be seated. Hmm. Calista is not, is she not the, um, I think that the restaurant is a little bit messy right now because I just recently employed Cameron Lee and Guppy was helping out a bit at the end of like what I was doing. So I think Calista might be a server right now. So I'm going to see if I can assign host Calista and see what that will do because yeah, someone needs to be the host and, <laughs> um, Okay, it looks like it might be triggering now. Yes, good. So let's see. Okay, they got this corner table here. This seems to be the first choice of a table, which makes sense, I think, because the podium is the closest to that one. There's a lot of seams here. Let's see if I can get a good, good shot of them. I think maybe I have to like be on the back of them. Right, so she wants to um, toast. So let's do that. 
Okay, nice. And now I can order... Let's make it Chef's cho choice. She might not have the correct outfit on, but she seems to be doing a good job anyway. <laughs> so that's the most important part right now. She got the weird want. I think it might have been because I made Goopy selectable. <laughs> she wants to promote Kalista. <laughs> I guess she was really impressed with her work. Okay, so apparently Brittany wanted to have spaghetti and Alexander risotto. That's nice. So Alexander actually has some romantic wants here for her. Um, so I think that she can go ahead and uh, flirt a little bit, feed him a bite. Like Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> Only it's like the opposite, I guess. <laughs> Alexander would be the lady in this case. <laughs> Although Brittany isn't um, poor or anything like that, so... I guess it doesn't apply. And now he wants to learn how to make risotto, I see. Looks like they're talking to Ophelia <laughs> on the other side of the water. <laughs> I see. I guess the game thinks that the tables are connected or something because they're so close together. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, and that was it. So I think that uh, they can pay and um, head out. They've had their dinner. Good. So I actually wanted them to walk together to Woodland Park and end their date over there. So I'm going to have them do that. <laughs> he's waving at her, but he's coming with. <laughs> so <laughs> come on, Alexander.
Yeah, and Brittany is returning from her date with Alexander. And of course, they had a very important conversation. A lot of things that needed to be said. And uh, yeah, Brittany has a lot to think about how she wants to handle all that. But for now, she's really thinking a lot about Alexander, that's for sure. Right, so yeah, she's going to head in here and I think that she should look after her plants first. Yeah, they're really sickly now. So let's see if they uh, even survive. And of course, these guys are jamming away upstairs. It's just nice. So I think that, I mean, both of them need social. So, oh. Or just standing up like that, boy. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know why he did that. Just see if I can get rid of the. No, okay, it's it's um, something went wrong, I guess, with it. So let's just buy a new one. And they lost like five hundred simoleons from that. So I think I can do family funds, right? Yeah, good. Down they have what they lost back. Um, yeah, so are you stopping as well? Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on with the instruments, but... Okay. Um, no, not dance. Ugh. Yeah, now he's got the guitar stuck on him. Okay, can you stop now? Okay, thank you. Right, um, so I guess they can just hang out in his room. Get that friendship up and uh, the social as well. While Brittany is making progress downstairs. Hopefully. Yeah, they're looking a little bit better. Um, but yeah. Definitely not good. <laughs> Right, so having so many things to occupy her mind right now and having had a, a big day with yeah, a lot of new impressions and a lot of uh, things to think about, I think that she would head up to her room. And I think that she would give her sister Tosha a call just to... Have someone to talk to about these things in our life. Yeah, because Tosha, of course, uh, has been through it all before. And uh, she has a very successful family. And she also um, has a successful career on the side of that. So I think that Brittany seeks comfort in her um, right now. Yeah, these guys are making progress here as well, I think. Yeah, they're friends now. It's awesome. But it looks like uh, he needs to reconnect a bit with his dog because that's going down really far down. So I think I'll just have Bo use the bathroom and uh, yeah, go to sleep because he's very tired again. And uh, let's see where Leroy is. He's actually downstairs and behaving really well, so let's praise him. Yeah, let's just try to get the relationship up a little bit here. Yeah, he has a very high relationship still with him, but it's going down for him pretty quickly. So yeah, Brittany has um, finished her conversation with Tosha and uh, has gone to bed as well. Uh, so I think that she, she ended up... Um, Having a nice chat with her and uh, feels a bit calmed so that she can go to rest and um, sleep well tonight. She has a big day tomorrow as well, of course, at the police office. <laughs> Good. So now they are uh, friends. It's called friends, right? 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just meant to hover over it. I think it was somewhere around there, right? Maybe like that. 36. I think something like that. Um, yeah, pet friend. It is. Okay. But he's not um, master here yet, so... That'll probably come with time. Yeah, but uh, Oliver is also very tired, so yeah, the dog has food, so that's perfect. So yeah, I'm going to send Oliver to um, sleep his first night in this apartment. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Leroy is going to go to bed as well. <laughs> so they're going to bed together. Well, awesome. So that was all of them gone to sleep. And that marks the end of uh, Brittany's episode. <laughs> so we will have to see what she ends up doing. Uh, she has a lot to think about, I think. And um, yeah, I mean, basically she she's just starting out in her career. And I think that she wants to focus on that at first, probably. Um, but then again, she needs to pay attention to this as well. Otherwise, it might be too late. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.